Hello and welcome to the roundup of this week's edition of the Engineering News and Mining Weekly magazine, published on Friday 11 February 2022. In this week's cover article, Engineering News and Mining Weekly contributing editor online Madeleine Arnaldi unpacks why South Africa's just energy transition hinges on an integrated policy approach. As the world's largest economies are decarbonizing, deregulating, decentralizing and digitalizing their energy sectors, it's imperative that South Africa, as a trading partner of these countries, also embraces this revolution to avoid hampering competitiveness and economic growth. The engineering news features focus on materials handling and logistics, where a forklift distributor achieves level one triple BEE accreditation. Business in KZN, where the Kite Expo provides an exposure opportunity for a German company. And oils and lubricants, where the use of synthetic lubricants is growing in the local industry. The Mining Weekly features focus on mining in the DRC, with a law firm feeling optimistic about DRC mining in 2022. And Platinum Group Metals, where the platinum industry is expected to take off. This week's business leader is Ralph Henneker, Managing Director of BME, a division of the Omnia Group. And as this week's cartoon shows, the final SIU report into fraud and corruption linked to the procurement of PPE makes for grim reading. The PPE that most South Africans would like to see deployed now are some well-made handcuffs. We hope you enjoyed this week's edition of Crema Media's Engineering News and Mining Weekly, the magazine that offers you news about developments in the real economy. Happy reading and see you next time.